Hello my sweetheart, how have you been doing? It's been a while since you came here to get some cuddles, isn't it? How did you miss my hands? Touching your eyebrows Touch your eyes. So you can just relax. I can tell by your look that you've had a very stressful day. <clears throat> but don't worry, we are here to take care of it. We are here. You're here now, so I can just cuddle you nicely. There's nothing more you have to worry about. You've got such beautiful hair today. They're so vaporous. You're sweet. stressed. Tell me about it. Now we're going to just take those worries away. Trust me, my cuddles will allow your worries to be washed away. Because I'm here now. I'm going to take care of them. I'm here. nothing you have to worry or think about. But you can talk, you can tell me what made your day stressful, what made you feel disappointed, what simply didn't go the way you expected it to. We all get disappointed at times. Sometimes it is because we have we set our expectations too high. Sometimes it is because people simply disappoint us. I won't disappoint you, don't worry. I don't mind the outside sounds. It's just you and me. It's just you with your great nose. Your sweet eye. Sweet little eye. I know. You love getting in touch like this. My hands are kind of fresh, kind of tilly, and I didn't warm them up on purpose because I know that you like um, to feel the chilling sensation in your eyes and on your nose as well. And on your I'm just going to be caressing your cheeks and I hope this will make the tension go away. I hope you start feeling better soon. Nobody deserves 
your thoughts, especially if it is someone that made you angry. Think of good things. Think of how to solve a situation. Don't think about negative things because those do not help you solve a situation. Those just make you feel more and more stressed. You have to. If you really want to think about it, what I personally suggest you just relax now. You have to think about it in a constructive way. To worry about things in a constructive way. Because worrying, for the sake of worrying, is useless. Because we are not looking for a solution. We have to look for a solution. Otherwise, there's no, there's no point in thinking something if there's nothing which can be done. Don't you think, my love? God, much better like that. So, try not to worry because worry is useless. If there is something, you can think if there is a way to solve it. Otherwise, just face the fact that there is nothing you can do until you get to it. There is nothing you can do and therefore there is nothing, no good reason to feel bad first. But you can tell me anything. You can vent with me. I want to hear your sweet words, even if they're not very sweet because you're angry. There's nothing wrong with being angry. We have to vehicle our aggressivity in a positive way. We have to be angry, but we do not have to let the anger burn inside us. It doesn't have to burn inside our lungs or stomach because that's when it becomes hurtful that is when it's not a constructive way of being angry you can you need to vent it's good to vent but you don't have to keep the aggressivity inside you for too long so vent when you need it but then, think of how to solve the situation which you're not happy with because that is the only way of solving things. Sometimes we tend to want to stay grumpy. Sometimes we want to just feel like being grumpy and there's no way to put a smile on our face. And I understand that, but you also have to understand that the more you stay grumpy and the harder things get. So, be grumpy, vent, and look for a solution as well. Or if you're not looking for a solution, try not to think about it. I know it's hard not to think about things which make us angry, disappointed, which worry us. But we have to try to take the time we have and make it most constructive as possible. We don't have much time. We spend so much time at school, working, caring about others. And then we have no time left for us. Isn't it right? I know that you care about others a lot. Maybe that's why you feel so disappointed right now. I think that sometimes you need to set your expectations a bit lower. You can't expect others to treat you the same way you treat them. If you think that you're doing too much for them, it won't be considered to la a little less 
if they would do something in return for you. You've got to start thinking that nobody will do something for you, unless the person is a relative of yours, of course. That way you won't be disappointed when nobody does anything. And you won't, and you'll give time to people to adjust themselves, to know how to act with you. I know that this is a kind of thought you kind of have to process, make yours, if you want, and if you agree with it. But there's no point in setting high expectations and being disappointed, isn't it? So many times we think that everyone has to do the same that we do for them. It's unlikely it can't be possible. Because we're different from others. Everyone is unique. Everyone's unique and that means everyone can how they like after all. So, just try and focus on your needs. I think that you tend to forget about your needs. Don't think that by taking care of others' needs, other will t others will take care of you. Because sometimes we try and care for others so that we don't have to care for ourselves. It's a good thing you've come here to me. Because it means you're taking care of yourself. But make sure that you look for what you want. And you take it for yourself. Because it is your duty to keep yourself happy, healthy, worryless, stressless. Nobody else can do it for you. I'm very happy to help you with it though. You know that. You can always come to me when you need to wash your worries away. Whenever you need to. I don't know, most when you just need some cuddles. I'm always here for you. I like listening to your vents. It's the sweet. Yes, you take care of others so much. And this is probably what makes you more. Learn to take care of yourself more. And what I mean is to stop putting your needs behind others just because you don't want to know what you need. You have to know what you need. You have to go look for what you want. You can't keep putting behind others it's only going to hurt you. And you know, I don't want you to be sad, hurt, or disappointed. I want you to be happy, worryless, not stressed. I want you to feel that your life is going somewhere. I know that you work and study a lot. So many of us do. And so many of us have so many difficulties dealing with this. Because between all our activities, we have so little time to take care of ourselves and of our loved ones. Because after all, taking care of loved ones is something which makes us feel so much better, isn't it? Loved ones, especially when they're grateful. Family, friends. Our significant other, everything's so important. It's what makes life so beautiful to see a smile on the face of someone you love. That's just something you just no worries. But even then, remember, you don't have to let others take more importance over your life because the moment you melt down 
I cannot help anyone. So you have to do maintenance. Like a car. A car has to take people around. But <clears throat> I'm sorry. Even though a car has to take people around, <clears throat> it also has to make sure it always works. It might need to stay a couple of days at the mechanic. But if it doesn't, if it doesn't do checkups, if you don't give it what it needs, then the car won't work anymore. And we're not cars, we have feelings. But we sort of work the same way. You have to take care of yourself, so you take care of others better. Okay? Mm. I always like taking care of you. It's something that honestly makes me feel so good. I want you to go today and remember this. Do not overdo things. You're always so busy. I know how much you work, how much you study. You always put all yourself in all you do. We all know it. I know it. Your loved ones do as well. Don't overdo yourself. Don't stress yourself too much. I'll be watching you. Never see you stressed. Let's stop <laughs> next time. We have to do an intense stress treatment. So remember to remember your needs. Sometimes you need to put yourself in front of others. Do not expect too much from others or you'll be disappointed and you'll be stressed. Remember your maintains like a car on your breakdown. And last don't worry. It's useless to worry. But look for a solution. Or just do other things. We have so little time in our hands. We don't want to make that time a time which isn't happy. Okay. I hope you'll have a great sleep tonight. I know you always do. <laughs> After I cuddle you like this. Have a great day.